Arriving at Bricksmore just 18 months ago, I was immediately struck by the scope and scale of opportunity to unlock long-term value embedded in our older, well-located shopping centers. Of course, that opportunity begins with the real estate, which had been under-managed, under-leased, and under-invested in. But equally, if not more importantly, that opportunity begins with the team. I strongly believe that in our business, great real estate matters, but great people matter even more. I was blown away by the breadth and depth of talent I found at Bricksmore and was equally struck by a culture that was broken. So in addition to assessing talent and making necessary organizational change, we focused on changing the culture from one that will accept the status quo to a culture built on integrity, a healthy conflict of ideas, trust, and a focus on empowering outperformance. The gift of cultural change has unleashed a palpable and measurable change in our drive to deliver consistent and sustainable growth through addressing the tremendous opportunity embedded in what we own and control. Let me show you how we are delivering value now. Our centers must be inviting to the communities they serve. Details matter. Just 90 days in, we took the bold step of eliminating our reliance on third-party service aggregators. The results have simply been phenomenal. We are now able to implement higher property operating standards without incurring drag on our margins or increasing our tenants' reimbursable expenses. Our center's appearance is improving, our tenants and communities are responding favorably, and importantly, we are driving remarkable increases in new lease ABR. We are using data to redefine our trade areas based on actual customer visits to illustrate the competitive advantage of our properties and to better align with retailers' business models, capturing business that before would have been missed. We recognize that our tenants' success drives ours. For example, we convinced Lucky's Market to open one of their first in-market locations at Hunters Creek Plaza in South Orlando through utilizing smartphone-defined trade areas to show the proximity to their customer, daily traffic patterns, and a refined void analysis to support their underlying sales models. Lucky's will transform a former Bally's Fitness into a center with higher traffic, will stimulate the lease up of small shops, and drive rental rate growth on both renewals and replacement tenants. Through winning business beyond what was expected, we've created over 10 million of incremental value at this center. As a top landlord to some of the strongest retailers in the industry, our relationships put us at the top of the list for new stores, relocations, expansions, as well as new to market concepts. We invest capital in the markets where these retailers want to grow. In Mobile, Alabama, we are adding the area's first cost plus world market, plus relocating Bed Bath & Beyond and Shoe Station from nearby centers into a former Belk department store. These tenants will significantly improve customer traffic, and the initial replacement leases are expected to achieve 10 times the previous rent. We have continued to focus on improving our intrinsic lease terms, including reducing the number of options in our leases, which increases our control and flexibility, and driving higher embedded rent bumps, the cheapest form of sustainable growth. Customers weighing the value received for money and time spent are placing even greater weight on time. We are partnering with retailers who are finding innovative ways that respect and serve customers' time constraints. Kroger has seen triple-digit sales gains with quick customer adoption of their online order and curbside pickup service, ClickList. We are actively partnering with Kroger to improve their existing stores by investing capital to build infrastructure in our parking lots for this service. In San Diego, we are adding the new prototype for Sprouts Farmers Market which will feature their latest enhancements to boost store productivity and drive exceptional customer experience. In addition to being a better partner with our core tenants and driving traffic and increased sales, we are also achieving very attractive incremental returns. Adding first-to-market uses that can only be found in our centers improves traffic and sales and stimulates follow-on leasing and rental rates. 
At Maple Village, we transform the center's merchandise mix by converting a former Kmart into category-leading retailers to fit the local consumer, including Michigan's first Sierra Trading Post, only the ninth location in the country. Leasing momentum picked up with additional new leases with LA Fitness, Home Goods, and Kirkland's, just to name a few, growing rents by over 40%. While we have deep relationships with national concepts around the country, we also want strong local operators in our centers that can serve as an unsubsidized anchor to drive additional traffic. Wayne's Smoke Shack in Boulder, Colorado has been voted best barbecue in the state and draws customers from over 100 miles away and sells out every day by 2 p.m. They will be featured on next season's diners, drive-ins, and dives, and we are working on an expansion for a larger kitchen. The family-owned Crab Hut in Mira Mesa, California, has a two-hour wait on weekends and hosts special monthly events and tastings. And hometown favorite Chickie and Pete's, voted ESPN's number one sports bar, was chosen over national chains to backfill a newly vacated out parcel at Marlton Crossing in South New Jersey, with overwhelming support and response by the community. Recognizing that the decision to hold an asset is an investment decision, we've ramped up selling properties with limited long-term growth potential, allowing us to capitalize on favorable private market valuations and build liquidity. In Perry, Georgia, a tertiary market 100 miles outside of Atlanta, we doubled the rent of the anchor box upon rollover and renewed the grocery lease. Knowing that we had maximized the value, we sold the property, generating an additional $3 million of value at a realized cap rate of 7%. Furthermore, where we own single assets in a market, we are determining whether we should exit that market or grow our presence in it. In the last 18 months, we've exited over a dozen single asset markets. For properties sold, the average income is 17% lower than our portfolio, and the five mile population is 36% lower. Clustering investments near existing assets and attractive retail corridors gives us critical mass, providing longer-term opportunities to leverage our market position. When you have a meaningful share of the market, retailers have to talk to you, and you get a much better perspective on where rents can be driven than if you just own one asset. Our recent acquisition of Felicita Town Center in Escondido, California is a prime example. Located directly across the street from our Felicita Plaza, we now own two strong centers in a very attractive retail node. We own three of the area's five grocers, and we control 80% of the small shop space. As a result of this dominant market position, we've increased occupancy across the two properties to a blended rate of almost 100%. We've driven rents 10% ahead of underwritten expectations, and have importantly created significant leverage with tenants when they come up for renewal. By acquiring adjacent properties and out parcels, we are able to better control the merchandising mix and the repositioning of the entire center. In San Clemente, California, we acquired the adjacent Stater Brothers Center as an extension of the asset we already own, Ocean View Plaza. We are able now to synergistically operate this as a single asset and expect to realize an IRR of over 8% in this highly desirable infill market in Southern California. Controlling the pads along the street and adding strong merchandising cleans up our front door, increases the center's connectivity and relevance to the community it serves, and sets us up well to pursue additional NOI growth. Since joining the company in 2016, our completed out parcel developments have averaged 15% yields. We have more than 250 new out parcel opportunities that remain to be harvested, and we're aggressively getting after them. By profitably replacing less relevant retail concepts with more compelling uses, we improve our older, well-located centers with reinvestment that's not only accretive on an incremental basis, but also enhances the long-term growth prospects through increasing occupancy and rents. With smart retenanting, we are making these well-located centers better and more relevant to the customers they serve. For example, we replaced an old A&P box with H-Mart in Yonkers, New York, completely transforming that center. The total project cost was four and a half million, and we realize an incremental return of over 13%. Our in-place redevelopment pipeline of over a billion dollars will drive significant value creation and growth potential at very attractive risk. 
We can not only drive higher absolute returns on investment versus ground up development, we can commit significantly less capital to achieve comparable levels of value creation. And once completed, these centers will drive better intrinsic growth by being more relevant to the community. For example, at Park Shore in Naples, Florida, we took a former Kmart anchor and health club and significantly transformed the merchandise mix and traffic at that center by upgrading them with Saks Off Fifth, Burlington, Kirklands, and Party City. As a result of these changes to the center, we just recently executed a lease with Yard House for a highly visible out parcel. With an expected total project cost of $24 million, we're driving an incremental 11% return and are creating over $20 million of additional value. When we focus on the quality of a center, we are focused on the quality of the investment opportunity and our ability to apply capital accretively in order to drive ROI and underlying cash flow, while positioning the center to outperform over time. We have over a billion dollars of identified opportunity, 188 million of which is leased and underway today, with much more beyond that that will provide several years of growth. As you can see, we are already delivering strong returns in all facets of our business plan, and we're just getting started. The end result will be continued sustainable and growing cash flow.